Hey y'all, I Rick Sky here. Now I've had some hands-on time with the Parrot Bebop drone. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Parrot Bebop drone, it's the latest and greatest drone uh, from Parrot. It's got 1080p video, and you fly it by way of this very intuitive app called Free Flight 3. Alternatively, you can purchase the uh, Sky Controller. You can find that as well as the regular Parrot Bebop, this waterproof and ruggedized Parrot Bebop case parrot bebop backpack you can find it all in batteries and other accessories if you check the link within this video's description but what i'm going to do within this video is show you how this thing flies and i'm going to alternate you've noticed i've got my computer hooked up that's to capture my iphone's screen so you can see what i see while i'm flying the parrot bebop that's what makes it so cool the interface is very intuitive now you can manipulate the way that it's controlled but I like using the built-in gyroscope inside of the phone it just makes it a really cool and uh, and user-friendly experience in my opinion so what I'm going to do now I'm going to initiate the recording of my iPhone so that this video is all going to come together for us we we'll wait for that to get started and then we're going to uh, we're going to fly Okay, so that's recording now. Uh, now all I'm going to do is I'm going to launch my free flight application. What's cool also about the Bebop is that when you start flying, it'll start recording. And I don't know how many times you've done it, but I know with my uh, with my other drones that I fly, I've at times run into uh, run into an issue where I forgot to record. So I did the really good flight. And then I went home and found out I didn't have my footage. Okay, what we're gonna do first before we take off is I'm gonna manipulate this camera. You can see, you can, with the Parrot Bebop, you see how I'm panning around right there? That's what that right virtual stick does. This is the free flight application. So this is the application you'll run on your iPhone, your iPad, your Android, whatever device you're using uh, to control the camera and control the flight. It's very intuitive, as you can see here. I mean. Look at that, that's super, super cool. Um, so that's one of the many awesome features of the Parrot Bebop. Now you can see what I'm sitting on right now. The Parrot Bebop's on this landing pad. You can also find that within the link within this video's description. Today's a great example of why the landing pad's important because I'm in tall grass. So that sticks up above the grass and I'm able to provide the, uh, the Parrot Bebop with a, with a landing pad to land on and also take off from. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take off. Where this drone is different from many other drones is that the Parrot Bebop, you simply push take off and it will go into the air and then you can start to fly. So I hit take off. It's in the air. And now it's over there. I'm pushing up to go up in the air. bring it back this way by using my gyroscope and tilting it. Um, now we're going to go up a little bit in altitude. And I'm going to twist. Uh, one thing you want to be aware of when you're flying the Bebop is that, see if you let go of the controller it'll just hover. Like it's hovering right now because I don't have my finger down. But once I push my finger down, I then assume control of the Parrot Bebop's flight. But right now without my finger touching anything, It'll just hover. So say I want to hover and use the camera. I can manipulate the camera while it hovers, which is really cool. Let's bring it back closer to us here. It's windy out here today. I apologize for the... See, I'm moving the camera now. And remember, front and rear, depending upon where the craft is in relation to you, the, uh, the flight will be different. So whether you tilt left versus tilt right. You've got a battery indicator on here, which is nice. Let's, let's just spin it around here. So see, now I'm spinning in a, uh, a circular-type pattern. really windy out here but I tell you it performs well in the wind 
to be such a lightweight drone, it really does. You see, now let's tilt the camera around. And that's one of the cool things about the Parrot. It doesn't use a gimbal like other drones. It uses a, uh, a software stabilization and, uh, and then also these cushioning type things. So it produces a really silky smooth image. You see, look at how cool that flight is. Backwards, forwards. And it's something that until you do it for a while, it takes a while to get used to. It's kind of, uh, it's kind of daunting at first. But I actually much prefer it to a traditional control. It makes me feel more engaged in what's going on. Here comes a train. Let's see if we can get that. of how well it's handling in the wind. That was a good thing, you saw it reconnected. to land it on that helipad. Now the landing is, there's a landing button too, just like it was for takeoff. It's quite windy right now. I mean, really windy, probably about 25 mile per hour gust, and it's impressive that this thing's handling as well as it is. It's using that uh, GPS to stabilize your flight.
actually, let's land it right there. And that motor problem is just saying that the that the props hit grass when it was landing, so that's fine. Let's go ahead and take this off here. And it says caution hot, and this does get hot right here. Turn it off, I just push the off button on the back. Got a little bit of grass on my lens. Took that off. So yeah, just to look at this thing close up, very simplistic design, uh, very lightweight. That's one of the things that I like most about the Parrot Bebop is the small form factor because it's easier to travel with, especially if you use the backpack like I do, ultra portable, or if you're going to places that are wet and potentially hazardous, get the waterproof and ruggedized case. And like I said, all of those can be found within the link within this video's description. Taking the battery out, it's very simple here. Just pull it out. And I've got another battery in my case. So what I'm gonna do with this next flight, whereas that one I was tethered to the uh, I was tethered to the computer because I was recording what it sees in the app. Uh, this flight, all I'm going to do, I'm going to fly with the iPhone in my hand so I can kind of walk around and keep the uh, keep keep my distance uh, close to the uh, to the Parrot Bebop. So let's do that. And you know, again, subscribe if you haven't already. And the link within this video's description, you can order all the the, fan, uh, the Parrot Bebop. The Parrot Bebop with Sky Control, the batteries, the case, the backpack, I've got it all there. And if there's something in particular you're looking for, just drop me a line and I'll try to find you a link. And likewise, I've got tons of flying videos there and tons more coming soon. So, really cool drone. Check it out. And be sure to subscribe. YouTube.com forward slash IRIXGuy. Y'all have a good day.